My name is Oliver Heimer and I am head of Mini Design. The future of Mini Design um, is obviously nothing that I am able to talk about in detail, but um, having that said, uh, in general, I believe that um, Mini is, let's say, a really focused brand. Um, right? It's a maximum clever use of space. That's our, that's our slogan still there, uh, compact car. And that's what I would like, I want to be in the future as well, focused, focused on that what's necessary. Um, without um, losing something that the customer might miss later on. But um, I see Mini uh, in the future even more reduced than we are today. Um, for sure, having the, the same quality as we have today. Um, but going into the future um, and, you know, um, staying the trendsetter that Mini always has been in the past. Well, I believe that um, you shouldn't be afraid of losing your customers that you do have. Because, again, what was the, what was the initial, um, how you say, uh, impulse for our customers that they chose Mini? They chose Mini because Mini is different. And that's what I believe is still um, more than valid in the future. So, the answer is, it's going to become different and our customers will follow us because they're cool customers, right? So, first of all, um, it's a really big opportunity for us as a designer because, um, you know, the architectures are changing entirely, really entirely. So, um, it almost feels like that we are sitting in front of a blank piece of paper now. In the future, even a bigger step we, we're going to make um, is the interior, right? Because, um, again, I believe that Mini um, as an emotional brand where you do have, where you are talking about experiences more than uh, maybe in other brands, it's exactly that what needs to be, uh, what needs to be developed into the future. Having that said, um, it's, it's pretty clear. Um, experience is not about, let's say, talking out loud about technology. It has to be, it has to happen in a, in a human way, right? So let's imagine that uh, in the future we are talking about, let's say, um, more intelligent systems. And you have heard a lot about artificial intelligence already. Um, having this in place in the future, you might not be, it might not be necessary um, having that many buttons, uh, that many screens, whatever. So you are able to reduce just by the fact that uh, the car is becoming more and more intelligent. We, we are able to simplify things and at the same point in time the customer mo won't miss anything. It's maybe even more. So Mini is an urban brand, right? Um, we do have car sharing in place with uh, Drive Now. So um, looking into the future of car sharing, the brand or the customer should have the opportunity to order his or her car to the place where he or she is sitting. So <laughs> autonomous driving is necessary in order to get rid of one of these, let's say, pain points that we do have today. But it's a different approach of using autonomous driving. It's still the driver, the, the passenger can, can drive by himself, by herself, whatever. But in, in, uh, in that circle of talking about the sharing concept, it's necessary that we do this. The more and more uh, autonomous driving is, uh, let's say, in place one day, the more and more important it is for us um, to be able to drive by, yourself, by ourselves. I think that's, it's going to become different in the future. We do have a personal relationship to your car as a customer. Individualization is one of our hot topic. You are, as a customer uh, in Europe, you are able to um, design your own side scuttles, for instance. You are able to design your own decor element on the, on the passenger side. So um, it's so individual. You can do, you can write whatever you want to, right? And if your car have, has a name, you just place it there. So that's the beginning, and I think. I believe that the technology like 3D printing um, uh, will enhance this experience for the customer in the future even more. Compared to 15, 20 years ago, 
there was much less destruction from our mobile devices. Um, you know, you have Instagram, you have WeChat, you do have Facebook, whatever. That's all information that's coming into our heads on top. So that might be one reason that uh, um, that let's say the 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 inner human feeling is that something in your life has to be has to become reduced right that's one one thesis let's say on the other hand looking into maybe uh, architecture or furniture design like Bauhaus it was there already so it could be let's say um, an area where we are um, facing towards simplification but this might be might change uh, within the next 20 30 40 years and, and i strongly believe uh, that uh, it it you know it will fit perfectly to to our principles right a really compact car clever car um, fun to drive you know electric cars they're really fun to drive so it's um, it's a perfect answer for us for the mini brand and if you know I'm exciting I'm excited uh, in that sense that um, what I experienced now the, the first uh, six months is that um, you know mini has much more freedom somehow than may, maybe other OEMs right um, you are able to experience a lot more you could be more playful it is serious enough so and mini has mini you know that's the brand where you are allowed to do things that are maybe not conventional in that sense but that's how how i how i see our customers